Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to discuss Altman's Z-score model used for credit risk management. Friends, this model was propounded by Professor Edward Altman in 1968. This is known as Z-score model. This Z-score is derived from a formula based on five financial ratios to predict possibility as to when a business firm may go into bankruptcy. According to this model, there are five important financial ratios and those five financial ratios when calculated, they have the capability to predict the probability, the possibility as to when a business firm, a business entity may go into bankruptcy. Now, these are those five important financial ratios. The first ratio is working capital to total assets ratio, WC by TA, working capital to total assets ratio. When this ratio improves, that shows that there will be enough of liquidity. When this ratio deteriorates, when this ratio is low, it means this firm is likely to face the liquidity problem. In our formula, this ratio is going to be represented by X1 and weightage for this ratio in the formula is 1.2. Second ratio is retained earnings and total assets ratio. Retained earning means the earnings, the profit which has not been distributed, which have be, has been used to strengthen the reserves and net worth position of the firm or the company. Now higher the amount of retained earning that would mean to finance the asset, there will be low borrowing and this is represented in the formula by X2 and weightage for this is 1.4. The third ratio is earning before interest and tax to total assets. So total assets, how they are used to earn profit. Now this earning will be calculated with reference to the earning before interest and tax. Higher this earning percentage, more strong the firm is going to become provided. A large part of this earning is in the form of retained earning. This ratio is represented in the form of X3 and its weightage is 3.3. Fourth ratio is market value of the equity divided by total liabilities. Market value of the equity means market capitalization. The stocks, the shares of such companies if listed on a stock exchange, what is market value of that equity divided by total liability? This is represented by X4 and weightage for this is 0.6. Last ratio is sales divided by total assets. So how these assets have been used to improve the sales, higher the ratio, better it is. And this is represented by X5 in the model and weightage for this is 1. So there are five important ratios. When we take into consideration these five important ratios, based on their weight, it is possible to predict how soon a business firm may go into bankruptcy. Now, what are the benchmarks scores? So these scores can be, if it is less than 1.81, it means it is a distress position, distress zone. This indicates that this firm, this entity may go bankrupt within one year. 
so based on these ratios and this weight by using the formula when z score is calculated and z score is less than 1.81 that indicates that this firm may become bankrupt soon if score is between 1.81 to less than 2.99 this is considered a gray zone gray zone means the position can go either way it can move to distress zone or it may move to safe zone and when this score is more than 2.99 then it is considered to be in the safe zone means it is considered that this firm is financial financially healthy firm now these are the benchmark score now we shall take up a case study reliance cables limited these are the ratios calculated for three different years 2015 2016 2017 based on the information available in their balance sheet so these are the ratio codes which we had seen here these are the respective weights for these ratios which we have already discussed here